Jamie has had a serious medical emergency, landing him in the hospital for a month now. But shocking new details reveal that he may have actually been poisoned. Breaking news has surfaced from Jamie's inner circle, with shocking allegations that his illness may not be what it seems. According to sources close to the family, there are rumors circulating that Jamie's symptoms may be more than just a simple illness, raising questions about whether there may be foul play involved by someone very famous. Diddy has recently been in the public eye for all the wrong reasons, and it now looks like he may be involved in this nefarious plot as well. As the rumors continue to swirl, we delve deeper into the mystery surrounding Jamie's illness and Diddy's role in it. Jamie's sudden medical emergency and hospitalization have been a source of mystery for weeks now. With the actor's family not uttering a word, we may finally have some answers, and they are disturbing. It appears that Diddy may be directly responsible for Jamie's deteriorating health, and that he may have actually poisoned him to keep quiet. Yes, that is huge news to unpack, so let's take a step back and explain how all of this could be a huge conspiracy to get rid of Jamie and keep his mouth shut. Jamie Foxx and Bad Boy founder Diddy talked about Jamie's previous partying almost five years ago. According to rumors, the actor's remarks did not please the music mogul. Thousands of Foxx's fans are blaming Diddy for the actor's sudden demise as he fights for his life in the hospital. According to those close to the actor, Jamie's illness may have resulted from his knowledge of Diddy's dubious sexual orientation. If so, why is Diddy being held responsible for Fox's illness? The story goes all the way back to 2018, when Jamie Foxx was invited to Colbert's show and talked about, among other things, his experience showing Diddy how to create a low-budget party. He started going to Diddy's gatherings as well, after pretending to be a videographer and becoming acquainted with the rap mogul. He threw a party. And he said, yo, Playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars to throw. I'm like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> and I said, Puff, I'll throw you a party for 400 bucks. <laughs> that will rival this party. Mm -hmm. And he got pissed at me. He said, yo, don't play, don't play, don't play me on your hand, man. Then, when Diddy visited Los Angeles next, he called Fox and said, yo, Playboy, I'm in town. Make it happen. I said, cool. So I went into my little phones, sure. called about 200 of the coolest people adding that he went on to invite 200 of the coolest people before Diddy finally arrived. And I said, yeah, but Puff, look over there on, on, on the dinner table. I got Kentucky Fried Chicken. I put it, I put it in a nice plate. I said, I got Coca-Cola. I put it in a pitcher. We're at 208 bucks, and we are killing it right now. Fox insists that many of the wild parties he hosted in the past were intentional. And I was trying to get in music at that time, so I would throw parties for a reason, because Puff was so famous with music, I had a studio in my house. So it seems like Fox was just using Diddy and his fame to get into the industry and make connections that he could later leverage to land himself a big role. It is possible that Diddy resented him for this all these years and finally decided to prove a point, given his mercurial nature. But this theory makes less sense than the one we are about to talk about. According to various sources, although Jamie Foxx's symptoms are comparable to those of a stroke, the hospital where he is receiving treatment appears to keep quiet on the specifics. Producers of Jamie Foxx's film Back in Action are scrambling as a result of his sudden catastrophic illness, and TMZ is receiving conflicting reports regarding the shooting situation and whether they plan on continuing with the shoot without him. Evidently, the emergency was pretty critical. Back in Action, the next movie starring Jamie Foxx and Cameron Diaz was reportedly being filmed in Atlanta, despite there being no official confirmation. During Jamie's health crisis, his family traveled from all over to be with him. If immediate family members had to make a trip down just to visit him, it must have been really serious. The actor skipped the final eight days of filming, according to TMZ, putting the completion of the movie in doubt. 
According to TMZ's sources, the actor will allegedly stay in the hospital as doctors try to figure out what happened to him. Online users have, however, theorized that Fox might have had a stroke. One user tweeted, Jamie Foxx said Diddy was gay and did freak shit at them mansion parties. Now all of a sudden he in the hospital bout to die. In my Dr. Umar voice, you don't find that suspicious? Another fan wrote, Diddy did it, SMH. To which this person replied, I believe it because how he just up and get in critical condition and nobody saying what's the cause of it, no diagnosis or nothing, just on life support now. A third one continued, Jamie Foxx really tried to expose Diddy and days he's extremely sick in the hospital. That ain't suspicious? Fans also fear that, given the actor's terrible condition, Jamie's family and medical personnel at the hospital are hiding something sinister, and this is where Diddy and his sexuality come into play. The theory that Diddy is gay is not new. Rumors have swirled around his sexuality ever since Diddy apparently came out as gay in the song Hope by Blood Orange. In the music video, when two males are seen walking hand in hand towards the end, Diddy raps, Yeah, gee, I don't. Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved? But that I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that. You know, it's like you want something but you don't know if you can handle it. You give me that hope that, um, I'll love again. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Back in 2009, rapper Exhibit talked about the one time Diddy took him to a gay bar, saying, we get to this club and we walk in the back way. It's the VIP lounge, ain't nobody in there. We sitting there bobbing to the music and then Superhead point over to the corner. There's two dudes kissing. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Then she point in another direction, and there's another dude over there, butt ass naked, dancing. So all the talk about Diddy being gay isn't new at all, and neither is Diddy's involvement in various shady schemes involving taking down industry heavyweights. The wealthy music tycoon has been accused of taking out people in the industry before, so the speculation that he was responsible for Jamie Foxx's hospitalization doesn't sound too far-fetched. Let's hope and pray that Jamie makes a quick recovery so he can reveal once and for all what really happened to him and who was behind it all. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again with more updates on everything. Goodbye.